Welcome to the PAC Football Report for September 16th, 2017. I'm Joe Anderko. This week we will take a quick look back at last week's football action in the President's Athletic Conference, while also previewing this Saturday's games. Eight PAC teams faced off in non-league games in Week 2, while two others split a pair of non-league contests. Westminster outlasted Waynesburg 28-7 in the PAC Kickoff Classic, while other action involving two league teams included W&J rolling past Grove City 47-7, St. Vincent edging Teal 25-22, and Geneva recording a 34-13 win under the lights at Bethany Saturday night. In other games, Carnegie Mellon improved to 2-0 with a 42-14 home win over Rochester, while Thomas Moore was upset at home by Bridgewater 25-23. Case Western Reserve had the weekend off. PAC Player of the Week laurels went to CMU running back Sam Benger with 208 yards rushing on just eight carries and an 11-yard TD reception versus Rochester. Defensive recognition went to St. Vincent defensive lineman Sherby Samplis with four tackles, one and a half sacks, and a forced safety versus Teal. Special teams honors went to Carnegie Mellon returner Willie Richter with an 86-yard punt return TD versus Rochester. Rookie of the Week went to Teal receiver Marcus Waddy with five catches for 104 yards and three TDs at St. Vincent. PAC League play gets underway this Saturday with five conference contests while Westminster is off this weekend. The big game is in Washington, PA, as 2-0 WNJ hosts 1-1 Thomas Moore at 7 p.m. in a matchup of national powers certain to have huge PAC title implications. The home team has won five straight in the series, with Thomas Moore winning a year ago in Kentucky 35-9. President Head Coach Mike Sirianni knows, with the Saints leaving the PAC following this season, this game marks the end of an era for both programs. We respect um, what they've done, and you know, and I think since 2005, uh, I think that was the last time either us or them had been shared the conference championship. Um, so obviously, it, it's the end of uh, you know a special rivalry. Um, um, that being said, you know we try to treat every game the same anyway, and, and we're just trying to go out and try to be one and zero after this week. Fresh off an impressive road win at Bethany, 1-1 one one Geneva returns home under the Reeves Field lights in Beaver Falls for a 7 p.m. kickoff against 1-1 one one St. Vincent. The series dates back to 1930, with the GTs holding a 14-10-1 advantage, although the Bearcats recorded a 28-21 decision in 2016. Veteran Geneva head coach Gino DeMarco says his program is much more comfortable now in the second year running the triple option offense. I think our coaching staff has a better grasp of this overall. I mean, every every offensive coach that we have has a better grasp of it. We worked awfully hard in the offseason to uh, not only understand how to run the offense, offense, but the adjustments to come off of it. And, I mean, we're still in the primitive stages of this. Um, I think, you know, looking back on the game last week, we, we can play better. The final conference night game takes place at DeSanto Field in Cleveland as 1-0 Case Western Reserve hosts 0-2 Grove City at 7 p.m. in the Spartans' home opener. The programs met for the first time in 10 years last season, with Case rolling to a 55-0 shutout in Grove City. Despite that win, Spartan head coach Greg Debelak knows his team cannot afford to look past the visiting Wolverines. Uh, I watched the film. What I'm seeing on film is a much improved football team, especially on the offensive side of the ball, many more weapons than they had last year, and an improving defense. Um, so I, I think Grove City is, is ready to break through, and we have to make sure it's not us this week. Two day games wrap the PAC Week 3 league schedule. Carnegie Mellon looks to remain unbeaten as the 2-0 Tartans travel to face 0-2 Waynesburg in a 1.30 p.m. kickoff at Wiley Stadium. CMU leads the all-time series 11-4-1 and snapped a four-game skid to the Yellow Jackets with a 35-23 decision last year in Pittsburgh. Finally, two teams looking for their first win of the season battle in West Virginia as 0-2 Bethany hosts 0-2 Teal in a 1 p.m. kickoff. It's the 73rd all-time meeting dating back to 1917 in the series between the longtime PAC rivals. Last season, the Tomcats outgunned the Bison in Greenville in a 57-47 shootout. That's all for this edition of the PAC Football Report. Please log on to the conference website at www.pacathletics.org anytime for the latest news, scores, statistics, and other information. You can follow us on social media via Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Links available at the PAC website. I'm Joe Underko. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you at the stadium.